Hello, this is Gene. I'm going to show you my home theater and uh, what I'm going to be putting into it later today. The uh, Crown XLS uh, 1002. Uh, that's all they had at the local uh, um, guitar store. I can't say the name of it. And Kyle's going to show you my stuff. I've had a lot of problems. Um, my Marantz doesn't really push my RF7s. So I'm going to put this in there and see if it helps. And then we'll talk about that later. But at first, here's Kyle, and we're gonna talk about the FAR RS11. It's the Walnut, and it is the newest version. And right next to it, I have the PB2000. I have them in a dual configuration. In the middle is the RC64 Mark III. Very, probably the reddest thing that we've got. And here's the other um, RF and then the new back. Down here, I have the Marantz SR1614. It's good, but it doesn't really power my front channels. So I'm going to use the Crown and see what it does. Now that's just gonna be two channel. If I don't think it's enough, I might, and it sounds good, I might actually get another one to bridge it for the right and the left channel. and. Eventually, I might do the same thing for the channel, uh, the center channel. So, in the, in the middle there, on the bottom there, I have an HD DVD player, T Toshiba. Still works. It's a, built like a tank. I've had it forever. I have another one actually up in the attic. Above it is a uh, Sony HD, excuse me, um, 4K player. It's the first generation. It's the 800 model. Above that, I have a Philips, which is a region-free DVD player which I use uh, when I watch um, all the soccer videos that I have from overseas and some of my other DVD players. And above that I have a, a Dayton Audio 60 watch channel that I use for my heights. Now I'm going to take that out because I use that uh, for the heights to give me 11.2. Uh, we're going to put the crown in for the front channel and then take that out. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Probably not. I might sell it. But that's what I'm doing. Let me go ahead and show you the back really soon. Other stuff I have back here. In the back, I have the RP, RFP, uh, the RP5. These uh, speakers are about 25 years old. They have a 12 inch subwoofer, uh, bash amplifier. Um, really good for home theater, not great for two channel. That's the reason why I got the RF3s. Um, not really seeing what I want to, or hearing what I want to hear from it. Uh, I also have an older, um, Belladine, uh, the DSL 5000, I think it is, and uh, it's good, but it's a little boomy. Uh, but I've had it for a lot of times too. For the the uh, surround backs, I have the, the uh, RP 16160, very good speaker. Um, the precursor to the most louded uh, clip speaker ever, the 600. Uh, I have an old, decent uh, computer. Or <laughs> It's a Denon uh, turntable, another R RF, R RP, P, whatever, 160, and then the other side. And the bottom of it, I also have a Mini V, which is a very good, very good uh, um, subwoofer. Uh, I use it, it helps the back of the room. And then up from the heights, I have the 140 uh, SAs, and I have one there, one there, and in the fronts, I have up there, and right there. And in the middle, I have an 85-inch Sony, uh, not the top line, the one below it. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put that crown in there on the front shade and see what happens. Um, hopefully, it'll wake up the RF7s. Obviously, I didn't know that when I bought this, really. I heard a couple times about it, but I thought that the uh, Marantz would actually drive it. But I'm going to be honest that uh, two-channel, it's not very good. <laughs> now, that could be user error. Because sometimes I'm stupid, I don't do the right things. But uh, we're going to find out. So we're going to put the crown in there and see if it gets it better. And certainly, anybody want any, give me any advice is great. I do realize that where I have the, the subs up front might be the rest, not the greatest place for them. But it is what it is. So I'll uh, upload this and then I'll tell you how it turned out when we got done putting that into the system. You guys have a good day and we'll talk to you later.